Hello, Calculus community. Quiz is coming. So this video presents for us how we can evaluate limit using factoring. First limit from our review. Step one, we have to take x equals one and substitute in given function instead of x. We will have 1 square minus 3 times 1 plus 2, 1 minus 1. Now we can see we have 1 square 1 minus 3 negative 2 plus 2 is 0 over 0. 0 over 0 we cannot evaluate. So we said it is undefined. We have to continue our process. So we have to simplify. We can use technique like rationalize denominator nominator if for example a limit have given function with radicals for our example we will use factoring so we write limit x approaches 1 x square minus 3x plus 2 you can use factoring technique and we can write like x minus 1 and x times x minus 2. It is our nominator. Now we can see we can cancel out x minus 1 and our limit limit x approaches 1. It would be just x minus 2. Now again, we take our x equals 1, value 1, plug in and our function and check. It would be 1 minus 2. So it, 1 minus 2, it is negative 1. Negative 1, it is answer. Correct answer for your quiz, for example, 1. The second example. The first step, we have to substitute directly x by 2. And we have 2 square plus 2 times 2 minus 8 over 2 minus 2. If we evaluate, we will have 4 plus 4. 8, 8 minus 8 gives us 0 over 0. So we can see we have undefined. We don't know what is mean 0 over 0. We cannot evaluate this fraction. So we must continue our solution process. We can see for x squared plus 2x minus 8, we can use factoring approach and we can write like x plus 4x minus 2. Okay, so we back to our example and we will continue. We can write like limit x approaches 2, x plus 4, x minus 2 over x minus 2. Now we can cancel out x minus 2 and we have a limit x approaches 2 x plus 4. Again we have to substitute directly x by 2. Not 4 here and we have our answer 2 plus 6. 2 plus 4 give for us 6. So this is correct answer for example for the second example. We don't have any more undefined value. So 6 it is answer for our quiz. Example 3 from our review. First of all we have minus here. A lot of people scared minus but it's okay. What does it mean minus? It is negative 1 coefficient before our fraction. We remember property of limit. We can take minus and write front of limit. So it would be, but remember about minus later, minus limit x approaches negative 1. And we write our fraction x plus 1 over x square minus x minus 2. Now we have to substitute directly negative 1 x by negative 1. So we have negative 1 and negative 1 go to instead of x, go to instead of x, go to instead of x. We have negative 1, 
negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 square minus negative 1 minus 2. If we evaluate, we, we will be able to see it will be 0 over 0. 0 over 0, it is undefined. We don't know what is mean. Undefined. So, but denominator x squared minus x minus 2, we can use our factoring approach. So, it would be minus limit x approaches negative 1, x plus 1, x squared minus x minus 2. We can write like x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now, we cancel out x plus 1. It would be negative limit x approaches negative 1, 1 over x minus 2. Now substitute directly x by negative 1. This is negative 1 here and we keep minus before limit. So it would be minus 1 over negative 1, negative 2. So it would be minus 1 over negative 3. We have minus 1 over negative 3. Minus and minus give for us plus. So correct answer it would be 1 third for this example. Example number 4 from our review. The first step absolutely the same. We have to take x equals 2. So we take our value 2 and substitute in given function instead of x2. So we will have 2 square plus 2 minus 6 over 2 square plus 4 times 2 minus 12. We evaluated denominator denominator and we will have 0 over 0. Undefined. We don't know value 0 over 0. We have to continue our process. So we can see we have a uh, x squared plus x minus 6 in denominator and x squared plus 4x minus 12 in denominator. We can use the factoring approach for denominator and denominator. And after we will see, so limit x approaches 2. For denominator, we will have x plus 3 times x minus 2. A denominator, we can write like x plus 6 plus 6 times x minus 2. We can cancel out x minus 2 and we will have limit x approaches 2. x plus 3 over x plus 6. Now we take our value 2 and subtract directly. We will have 2 plus 3 over 2 plus 6 and total answer, it would be 5 over 8. So answer, for example, like that, 5 over 8. Thank you for watching and see you soon.